for Northwestern. Not offensively, but defensively. They lead the nation in takeaways. 29%, however, on third down conversions, but they make that one look easy. As Dwayne Bates, despite the fact he's 6'2", 208 pounds, got lost in the Penn State secondary, and he was wide open. They're on first and 20. Has time, throws down the middle. The pass is complete all the way down to the Penn State 45-yard line. All right, second down and five. The ball at the Penn State 45. This is Autry finding a hole, and he's got a first down at the Penn State 38-yard line. Yep. Northwestern threatening now. Stir rolls back, throws again to the big tight end, Drexler. He shakes the tackle and slips down to the five-yard line. That will be a first down. First and goal for Northwestern. The ball is just inside the two-yard line where it is third down and goal for Northwestern. It's Autry again, bouncing outside. Touchdown. Ready Scott in motion to the Lions. Back to Pitts. Hit in the backfield by number 51, Pat Fitzgerald. Oh, Pat, he just gets in the mud and blood and rolls around and makes plays. Talking with defensive coordinator Ron Vanderlyn, he just said, this kid has really stepped up and played. You see, leads the Big Ten in tackles. Third down and three for Penn State. Here goes Pitts. Can't get around the corner. They stuck it up. It's Fitzgerald one more time. Well, this punt's going to come from inside the 10. Depends on the roll, and it definitely takes a Penn State bounce. That puts Adrian Autry in motion. He's got a big return all the way back down to the 33-yard line. It's Brian Musso with the return. And a collection of players. This is his fourth year, so he has four groups of uh, recruiting classes here to work with. Autry gets inside. Touchdown, Northwestern. Great run by Autry. Great patience by a young sophomore. Mike Archie is the tailback. Brady Scott in motion. Richards is going to throw it. Let's it go for Bobby Ingram, and Ingram coming across has it intercepted by Chris Martin, and Chris Martin brings it back down the sideline and is finally shoved out of bounds at the 39-yard line of Penn State. Second down and 10. Whitman in motion. There's a mix-up in the backfield. Richardson and Pitts ran together, and Matt Rice had enough penetration to take him down, and it's a loss of at least five yards. It's third down and 15 now for the Nifty Lions after the mistake. They bury it. Absolutely bury it. Now, they ran over one of the better offensive lines in the country. It's third down and seven. Stephen Pitts goes in motion. And Richardson rolls. Nobody to throw the ball to. Pitts is taken down on a solid lick by Pat Fitzgerald. 12-yard penalty moves the ball back to about the 20, just inside of the 20. First down, Richardson. They run right over it. Is Maley got him. Daly was there, so two of them got him. And the quarter is over. Conway is hit one from 24. This is 27. Plays, controlled the ball the whole third quarter and scored no points on that last possession. First and ten for Northwestern at the 39. Snurr, Bates, good. And 
Bates will pick up the first down as he, after the contact, lunged past the marker. Got a re double reverse going here with Dave Beasley carrying the ball and picking up a first down for Northwestern at the Penn State 35-yard line. Caught the Lions flat-footed. First down at the Penn State 35, and Penn State's in the neutral zone, offside. They got a free play. Darnell Autry runs for 12 yards, and first down. Autry now owns the single-season rushing record at Northwestern at 1,297 yards. Take his own It's kind of dark down here in this end of the end zone, isn't it? It looks under the field. These affordable lights. This is Autry. Just short. Darnell Autry has 10 straight 100 yard plus games. He has 120 today. He has two touchdowns already, and he may have three here, but he won't get it on this play because his fullback had moved forward and I think was the man who drew the flag. Offside, however, is called against Penn State, so the fullback did not get the flag. The touchdown stands. Humphrey has three on the day. Comes Penn State now with only 10.56 to play in the ball game, and Wally Richardson under siege is going nowhere. A second. It is Ismaili. He has been a tremendous defensive performer today. Nothing there for Curtis Enos. And so Penn State is just simply getting whipped along the line of scrimmage right now. That's where it turned. The holding penalty, then the sack, then the missed field goal. Yep. All of it added up. Yep. Look, they will. Richardson got away from one man. Here comes Martin. He didn't get away from him. Boy, I tell you, he is one tough nut. Okay. Whacked in the noggin from behind. On third and ten, Wally Richardson is sacked five times. They've taken him down. It's Pat Fitzgerald one more time. Greg Brandon, the wide receiver. And John Riston, the running back. Those are names you should remember. That pass bounces in front of the intended receiver as number 96, Ray Roby, had his hands on the Penn State quarterback, Wally Richardson. The coaching staff that you just read off and the chemistry and the family and the belief of Northwestern this year has been special. Richardson throws the pass and completes it behind the line of scrimmage. It's a great story. It is the first eight-win season for Northwestern since 1948. That was the year they went to the Rose Bowl and beat California. They've tasted a little success. They know what confidence is, and they are playing their style of football. Adrian Autry now is the tailback. That's fresh legs. And he's got a first down at the Penn State 22-yard line. They're going to need about a foot. Well, I don't know if Steve Schnurr was able to stick his head in there and get it or not, because that door shut pretty quickly. Let's sort him out. Got it. And Arizona State is the team that pulled off that big upset last week. running. We gotta snap it one more time. They don't have to snap it. Here comes the crowd. Now can they keep the crowd off the field or are they even going to try? Lynn Swan racing over to get a hold of Gary Barnett and try to talk to him. Go paternal meeting with Barnett in the center of the field. And they come storming down out of the stadium to help join in the celebration.